This is lesson four in module three. And in this lesson, we're going to be showing patterns when we are multiplying by tens, ones, and thousands. Let's start with our place value chart and label our headings ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. And let's show three ones. And let's say we want to multiply three times 10. We can multiply three times 10 by taking these three ones and multiplying by 10 by moving them now into the tens column. So we started with three ones, we multiply by tens. Now we have three tens, which is equal to 30. Now let's look at what if we want to do 3 times 100. So we start with our th three ones, and we're going to move them 10 times to the tens column. But we're going to move them again another 10 times to the hundreds column. And now we have three hundreds. So we're, when we're multiplying by 100, we're actually going two columns from the ones to the tens and then the tens to the hundreds. This is the same as three times 10, two times. If we want to do 1,000, we'd start with our three ones we can move them once, again, and a third time, and we'd end up with 3,000, which is the same as 3 times 10 times 10 times 10. We went 10 times 10 three times. One, two, three times. Okay, let's look at a different problem. For this one, let's look at 15 times 10. So let's start by showing 15 as one ten and five ones. And we're multiplying by 10. So we're gonna multiply the 10 the 110 by 10 and get 100. And we're going to multiply the 5 ones by 10 and get 5 tens. So now we have 100 and 5 tens is 50. So we have 150. 15 times 10 is 150. Let's say we wanted to multiply 15 times 100. We'd start again with 110 and 5 ones. And we're going to multiply by 10. And by 10 again. Till we have 1,000. And we'd multiply 5 times 10. And times 10 again. to get 500. So 1,000 plus 500 would be 1,500. The same as 15 times 10 times 10, because we multiplied by 10 twice. Let's look at another one. Let's look at 4 times 20. 
Now to help us with this, we could decompose this into multiples of 10, 100, or 1,000. So 4 times 20 is equal to 4 times 2 tens, or 4 times 2 times 10. So we could show 4 times 2 as 8, and we're multiplying times 10. So now we have 8 tens, or 80. Let's try what we've learned with some problems from our problem set. Here's an example. 5 times 10 is equal to 50. 5 ones times 10 equals 5 tens, and we've shown it here on the place value chart. So pause the video and try number one. Okay, so we have five times a hundred. So let's show our five ones. And we're multiplying by a hundred, so they're going to go times ten and times ten again. So we end up with five hundreds. So five times one hundred is five hundred. Five times ten times ten, we multiplied by ten twice, is five hundred. So five ones times one hundred would be five hundreds. Pause the video and try number two. For this one, we start out with five ones again. This time we're multiplying by a thousand. So we multiply by ten. And by ten again. And by ten again. So we've multiplied by 10 three times. So 5 times 1,000, we end up with 5,000, which is the same as 5 times 10 times 10 times 10. So 5, ti five ones times 1,000 is 5,000s. Pause the video and fill in all the blanks for number three. Okay, let's see how we did here. So starting with A, 6 times 10 would be 60. So to end up with 600, this would be, have to be 100 times 6 is 600. And 6,000 would be 6 times 1,000. For D, 10 times 4 is 40, so 4 times 100 would be 400, and 1,000 times 4 is 4,000. For number 8, 1,000 times 9 is 9,000. For H, 90 equals 10 times 9, and 900 is 9 times 100. Okay, stop the video and try number four. So for number four, we're looking at 12 on our place value chart, one ten and two ones, and we're multiplying by 10. So we're taking this one ten, multiplying it by 10 to give us 100, and the two ones, and we're multiplying by 10 to give us two tens. So now we have 100, plus two tens, which is 20. So we have 120, which is one ten 
So 110 and two ones times 10 is 120. Stop the video and try number five. So here we're starting with 18, which is 110 and eight ones. We're multiplying by 100, so we know we're going to have to go by 10 twice, once to the hundreds, then once to the thousands. So we've multiplied by 10 twice. And our eights, ones to the tenths, and another time. So we end up with a thousand, one thousand, and eight hundred. So eighteen times a hundred is one thousand eight hundred. Eighteen times ten times ten is one thousand eight hundred. So one ten times eight ones is also equal to one thousand eight hundred. Stop the video and try number six. We're starting with 25, which is two tens and five ones. We're multiplying by a thousand, so we need to move three columns. We multi need to multiply by 10 three times. One gives us two hundreds. Again, gives us two thousands. And again, gives us two ten thousands. And the fives, Multiply once to get five tens. Multiply again to get five hundreds. Multiply again to get five thousands. So we have two ten thousands, which is twenty thousand, and we have five thousands. So when we add them together, we get 25,000. 25 times 10 times 10 times 10 is 25,000. Two tens and five ones times 1,000 is 25,000. Stop the video and try number seven. Here we have three times 40, which we can decompose into 3 times 4 times 10. Since 4 times 10 is 40, then if we multiply these two together, 3 times 4 is 12 times 10, which is 120. Stop the video and try number 8. So we can decompose this here, 200 into 2 times 100. When we multiply 3 times 2, we get 6 times 100 is 600. Try number 9. Again, we can decompose 4,000 into 4 times 1,000. 4 times 4 is 16 times 1,000 is 16,000. Try number 10. Once more, we're going to decompose 4,000 into 4 times 1,000. 5 times 4 is 20, times 1,000 gives us 20,000. And that concludes Lesson 4.